Hi, I'm Vicki Vaughn, and today we'll learn how to transfer a barred book to a portable cartridge. This workshop is intended for screen reader users. We'll be using NVDA as our screen reader, but it will work pretty much the same no matter which screen reader you use. If you are a low vision user, be sure to check out our low vision version of this workshop. In another Hadley workshop in this series, we learned how to download a barred book to our computer. Today, we'll take the next step and transfer our book to a portable storage device. This important step allows us to listen to our barred book on the NLS digital talking book player. For today's demonstration, we will transfer our book to an NLS cartridge. We can also use a USB or flash drive to store our digital books. Let's start off by locating our digital book folder on our computer. My folder is in the Downloads folder. Your digital book folder might be on your desktop or some other location. If you'd like to learn how to create a folder for your digital books, be sure to check out the Resources section. Starting from our desktop, let's open File Explorer with the keyboard shortcut of Windows and the letter E. File Explorer window, Items view list, Frequent folders grouping expanded, Documents not selected row 1 column 1 1 of 33. We press the F6 key repeatedly to move between various elements in Explore. Status bar, status bar. Up band toolbar, toolbar. Tree view. Level 0 quick access collapsed 1 of 2. Once we land in our navigation pane, we use our down arrow to locate our downloads folder. Level 1, 1 drive Hadley Institute collapsed 1 of 4. This PC expanded 2 of 4 level 1. Level 2 3D objects collapsed 1 of 11. Desktop collapsed 2 of 11 level 2. Documents collapsed 3 of 11 level 2. Downloads collapsed 4 of 11 level 2. Let's open it with our Enter key. Now, let's navigate to our items list with F6. Items view list. Last week grouping expanded. DB Melville Herman Moby Dick or the Whale DB 34184, 1, not selected 1 of 528. The first item in our list is the compressed or zipped book file we downloaded from the BARD website. Now let's down arrow one time. DB Melville Herman Moby Dick or the Whale DB 34184, 1, 2 of 528. The second item in our list is the extracted version of our digital book. This is the file we'll transfer to our portable storage device. If you'd like a refresher in downloading digital books from BARD, be sure to check out the workshop in this series where we learn all about downloading digital content. Our next step is to copy our book so we can paste it onto our cartridge. Once again, keyboard shortcuts to the rescue. Let's select our book by pressing our spacebar. Space. Then we'll hold down the control key with our right hand and press and release the C key for copy with our left hand. Now it's not obvious our book was copied because our screen reader does not announce it. Not to worry, it's tucked away on our clipboard ready for pasting. Now it's time to connect our cartridge or flash drive to our computer. We use a 2.0 USB extension cable available through the American Printing House for the Blind, Amazon, and other retail outlets. Let's plug the larger end of the cable into our cartridge or flash drive, then insert the standard USB end of the cable into the USB port on our computer. When we connect the cartridge to our computer, a dialog box appears that prompts us to select it. It asks us to choose what happens with the contents of the portable cartridge or drive. New notification window. New notification from autoplay. HSPBOR 802V. D. Select to choose what happens with unknown content. Window. We heard our drive name and a prompt to choose what happens with unknown content. This dialog box is available to us for about four seconds and then it disappears. Sometimes our notification disappears too quickly for us to act on it. There's a handy shortcut we can use to have Windows focus on this notification. By pressing Windows and Shift and the letter V, the window remains static until we can select it to choose what happens. If we miss our opportunity to select our notification window, we can just disconnect and reconnect our drive. We can also open our File Explorer with our Windows key and the letter E to find our drive there. 
Let's press our Enter key to select our notification window. List view list. Groups list list. Open folder to view files button selected. Then we'll use our up and down arrow keys to hear our choices. Take no action button selected. Open folder to view files button selected. Import photos and videos button selected. Your window might look a little different, but your choices will be similar to what we find here. Even though we might have the choice to play, it's worth noting we cannot play our digital books on our computers. Special playback devices like the NLS Digital Talking Book Player or the Victor Stream are required. We'll select Open Folder to View Files with our Enter key. This option opens our portable storage folder. Open Folder to View Files button selected. HSPBOR 802V, D, Window, Tree View, Level 1 HSPBOR 802V, D, Collapsed 3 of 5. Our next step is to paste our book into our folder. We'll use the keyboard shortcut of Control and the letter V to paste. We'll hold down our Control key with our right hand and press and release the V key with our left hand. We hear an audible progress bar while it downloads. Progress. More details checkbox not checked read only more details. 40%, 50 70%, 90%, 802V, When it's complete, the progress window disappears and our new book is ready for our listening pleasure. Window. Items view list. DB Melville Herman Moby Dick or the Whale DB 34184. One, one of one. Congratulations! We've just transferred our digital book from our computer to a cartridge. It's nice to know that this technique works the same whether we're transferring books to an NLS cartridge, a flash drive, or other portable digital book players that play barred books. Today we learned how to transfer digital books from our computer to a portable storage device, the NLS cartridge. I'm Vicki Vaughn and I thank you for joining me.